Hello there and welcome to today's ride. Normally I'm riding with my Hammerhead Karoo cycling computer but over the last few rides I've had a couple of issues with it, namely connecting to the Ant Plus sensors and battery life. It just doesn't last that long on long rides. Fine for the short ones but if I go out for more than uh, say four hours or so um, it, I have my doubts about it. So today I'm having a closer look at a really cheap entry-level cycling computer, the Brighton Rider 420. So let's stop and have a quick look at it. Well this looks like a nice convenient spot to have a closer look at the Brighton Rider 420. Now just for the purposes of clarity, I have been sent this uh, computer by Brighton, um, but they're not paying me and everything that I'm going to say is my own opinion. So here is the cycling computer. As you can see, it looks like pretty much every other GPS cycling computer. And as you would imagine, it has all of the usual features. So it can record things like speed, distance, cadence, heart rate, and of course your GPS track so that when you get home and upload your ride to Strava, you can see exactly where you've been. It attaches to the mount using one of Brighton's proprietary uh, mounts, which looks a little bit like the standard Garmin quarter turn mount. It, now that it, it will work with some of the Garmin mounts, but some it won't. And it just so happens that I've got one of these uh, off-brand mounts and it works perfectly fine in that. So far, I've been really, really impressed with the battery life. I got this particular unit, I think probably at the beginning of July and I charged it once and I've not had to charge it again. And I've been out and I've done a dozen or so rides at about between an hour and two hours. So yeah, so far um, the battery life is holding up really, really well. As you can see, I'm using it with my Trek, which has a dual sided power meter and the 420 has some really good power uh, recording features. So yes, it will record things like current power, average power, and uh, a normalized power but it also has some advanced power features like giving you the left right split to know exactly um, which leg is stronger than the other and by how much even though the 420 is only brighton's entry level cycling computer it does have some features that you would probably more expect on uh, slightly more advanced cycling computers. So for instance, if you want to change the number of fields on the screen and what those fields uh, measure, you can do so using the app and that's uh, very easy and very straightforward. Uh, plus it also has a really good feature that if you're riding along and the cycling computer is paired with your smartphone via Bluetooth, if you receive a text message or a phone call or even uh, somebody commenting on your YouTube channel, it will flash up a few lines of text uh, on, on, the, on the screen of the cycling computer so you can see you've had an alert. You can't actually read the whole thing, um, but it just lets you know that somebody's trying to get in touch with you and then you can stop uh, and then get off the bike and have a look on your phone. The screen is only black and white and unfortunately it's not a touch screen either. Instead you have to navigate your way around the various screens and functions using the buttons on the outside of the computer and on the underside which can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. I'll be honest and say that I would have preferred something with a touch screen but my understanding is that this is available on some of the more advanced Brighton cycling computers. As a basic cycling computer, it works flawlessly. It's had no issues whatsoever connecting to any of my Ant Plus sensors. So for instance, it's always managed to connect to my heart rate sensor and it's always managed to connect to the cadence sensor. And it's just given me all of those metrics 
100% of the time, which is exactly what you want from a cycling computer. Another feature this has that you would normally expect on a more advanced cycling computer is the ability to pair with these wireless gear systems so that you don't have to look down to see what gear you're in. So for instance, DI2 and SRAM RED. Now, this bike is DI2, but unfortunately, I don't have the sensor, so it doesn't work for me just at the moment. The 420 can also do navigation, but it's very, very basic, and it only provides a very simple little breadcrumb route on the screen. No maps, nothing, just a, a, literally a line that you follow. Now, when I did it a couple of weeks ago, or tried it out a couple of weeks ago, it wasn't all that successful, and that was because I was doing a circular route, and at one point I got to a T-junction, and it wasn't clear at all which direction I needed to go left or right. So I went the direction I thought, it tracked me for a little bit, and then it just lost me. And I was completely in the dark, and I didn't know what I was doing. I just need to work on that a little bit, I think. I'll stress again that this is a basic entry-level cycling computer, so I don't think it's going to be replacing my Karoo anytime just yet, and that's mainly because of the navigation feature on the Karoo. That's just way advanced of anything, plus a couple of other things like upcoming gradients and the climb screen. That said though, I'm really enjoying using the Brighton 420 it's super reliable, no connection issues, battery life is fantastic. So if you're on the market for a, an entry-level cycling computer, it's an absolutely fantastic choice. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get some more details. And ever, as ever, that will be an affiliate link. So it will earn the channel something, but it won't cost you anything extra. Thanks for watching.